Morning in Anathema. Soft moans and grunts, shuffling us sleeping bags. Sherpas poke their heads into our tents to wake us up. The sun did not rise yet. Sore eyelids and muscles defied the conscious will to arise against the wishes of gravity. The ground beneath worn out bodies had every quality except softness. Eyes still closed, we could not feel the hot, dented aluminum cups slipped into our cold and numb hands. There it was, the steamy smell of yak butter tea, pungent, strong, but had enough energy to lift ourselves up to the here and now of our days on the 100-mile Annapurna trek. Outside, the cook had kettles boiling over charred wire grills set on campfires. The tines of smoke rose to commingle with low-lying clouds that rolled over blanket-covered shoulders. The caravan of yaks were lined up and moved on ahead of the expedition leader, who was already on his way out. We only had half an hour left to gear up, strike the camp down, and add 10 more miles to our ascent up several thousand more feet of altitude. Along the twisting, undulating footpaths pointing towards heaven. Thus began a day like all other days before it, in the serene realm of skies beyond the cacophony and distractions of the gritty cities below. I experienced during those days how the nature of the world around us became a reflection upon ourselves. 